Okay, so that does it for our definitions. The last topic I'd like to discuss is an introduction to modeling. And I really encourage you to read uh, section 1.3 of Greenberg. Uh, in my opinion, it's a very nicely uh, written, uh, written section with lots of nice examples of some applications of some relatively simple differential equations. But let me add to that discussion and describe a model as an approximate representation of a real system. There are many fields of study and fields of uh, well, of employment or, or work where models are used or, rep or simple approximate representations of real systems are used. And they're used to, for example, illuminate the essential governing physics of a system This appears in engineering as well as in, uh, in science. Models are used, and here we're dis describing mathematical-based models. They're used to study rather complex interactions of different parts of a system. And they're also used for prediction or testing. You deal with models every day. If you check the, well, the weather or listen to the weather report, because that's those are based on models to predict the behavior of the weather over the over the next, well, in the future, over the next few days or or hours. Now there are various parts of a model. Better go to the next page. Let's see. So what are the various parts of the model? The first part is really uh, one's concept of the system. It's the conceptual model. And this involves many decisions of the most essential physics to describe your system. Or the most essential aspects you wish to uh, incorporate. to study a behavior. And again, I refer you to section 1.3 of Greenberg for, um, for some very nice discussions of th those sorts of decisions. For example, Greenberg discusses uh, the situation of a mass on a spring, an oscillating mass on a spring, and he describes how um, if one wants to just study the motion of the spring, then it's appropriate to include the mass and acceleration term. I'm looking for that equation here. Um, I don't remember where I put it here. 
Right. So the so the mass and acceleration part, the spring part, and a driving force. But to study its simple motion, one may not, for example, need to to include the uh, acceleration of, or the inertial part of the spring ex- itself, or in fact the you know the molecules that make up the block of mass that you're studying. So there are decisions that one needs to make uh, about the what's essential to include in in a model, and that's those decisions are made when d- d- developing the conceptual model. After the conceptual model is made, then one has to formally describe these aspects mathematically, and that makes up the mathematical model. Those are formal representations, formal mathematical representations. those of those key aspects and the mathematical representations are themselves an additional level of a, approximation so we may have a concept of an essential aspect of a model but we have to um, represent that mathematically which involves further approximation and then oftentimes if the mathematical model is uh, too difficult to solve Analytically, we derive a numerical model which uh, involves computer simulations of the math um, These are com- this involves writing your computer, uh, your code, your your computer, your numerical approximations to these mathematical equations, and then producing the solutions on a computer. And that is if analytical solutions are not possible. Analytical or exact solutions. So in this class, of course, we're going to focus on solutions to the mathematical part. But I do want you to recognize that there, there are these different aspects of a model, uh, to, of a model of a, of a natural or a real, real system. And if you get into modeling in other classes or in future work, I hope you'll start to recognize these different pieces and the differences between them. Okay, so I will conclude this first video on the introduction to differential equations. Again, um, I'd like you to understand what the solution of a differential equation means and how to verify a solution, and that will be much of the work of the, the problem set. You'll be able to recognize different types of differential equations, uh, which is an, another topic of the problem set, and then you'll appreciate differences between Um, for example, mathematical representations and a real system when modeling.